Hello and welcome back to F1. Yes, after a six month hiatus in which I missed out AOR season 17, I am back um, on F1 2019 um, to do one final season in AOR, um, of course season 18. And I've decided to join Assist League 3 because that's where my friend Shady Onyx is. Um, Shady Onyx is quite a bit faster than you in this game, so um, I didn't really want to push for Assist League 1 like I had in previous seasons. Instead, I just wanted to, you know, test out this league. Um, and just hopefully have fun. Um, of course, F1 2019 for me has been a much better game than F1 2018. I've, I had lots of issues with 2018 in terms of traction and stuff. Most of which have been sort of mended in this game. It still isn't ideal for me. I probably would have preferred F1 2017 um, over this game. But I am back. Um, and yeah, and uh, I decided to go in third person cam as well. For the first time since season 14. Sort of just to turn over a new leaf really. And I, I sort of prefer this camera anyway. Um, I'm not really putting pressure on myself. I'm staying on the pad. I might dish out the wheel later in the season, but for now it's just the pad. I am planning on finishing the season. Um, just see how it goes, really. Um, because, of course, I haven't league raced in a long time, but I think a bit refreshed now, and I'm probably only going to be doing this league. Um, I don't think I have time for um, THL anymore, unfortunately. But you can see now this is my lap um, as Kvyat um, gets out of the way. Um, I was actually trying to qualify on the mediums because talking to Sagionics, he apparently got screwed over by the strategy um, the previous race in which he went, um, he tried for the two stop and apparently the one stop's much faster in this game. Um, of course, I don't really know because this is going to be my first 50% race on this game. Um, of course, I don't really play F1 a lot anymore, but you can see it was only good enough for P12 in the end and Sagionics only getting P14. Um, so actually out qualifying um, my friend for one of the first times, you can see I see... Um, and a few others actually getting inside the top 10 on the mediums, um, including Jay, who puts in a th mad lap, um, going 6th on mediums, um, and X-Nuke as well, 8th on mediums. So, um, although we are 4th or 5th of the medium runners, I knew that the, super, um, the soft guys were going to fall away really quickly. Um, so, they're pretty much going to lose a pit stop to us. So, as long as we can get away through the pack, um, we do have a good chance of actually a top 5, even starting from 12th. But here we are, lights out, and away we go um, for the first time um, on the new game, and for the first time in a while. Um, you can see up ahead, there's already some crashes. Of course, turn one and China, quite problematic. You can see we're trying to avoid everywhere. I think somebody went into the back of us. We managed to actually slowly break away through the traffic, even so we're going to get an illegal overtake on X Nuke. So we get let him pass, but then we're going to get him straight away again, as he's blocked up by Suka Swagman, who tries to... I don't know what happened there. I think he lost traction, but he nearly collects us, and that was sort of heart and mouth moment. But... After all that, I find ourselves in P6 after the first three turns. So that's a position gain of six, which of course, I don't know if you've, um, if you've actually watched any of my other seasons, you'll know that I normally lose positions off the line. So um, yeah, a really good start as we go up into fifth now. Um, already sort of um, a gap forming between the top four and the rest, of course, as um, I think the guy who I just overtook just dove into the pits. But you can see the top five neck and neck as we can see, I think a Toro Rosso trying to um, break away, but you can see X Bubba on the medium, so he's going to be our main challenger. So it's important we get in front of him, and that we do as he makes a mistake, and an even bigger mistake, I think, as he disappears behind us, unfortunately. And um, you can see that sort of left the four of us at the front. And um, I was actually the lead medium runner because I don't know what happened to Jay and the others, but I think they f sort of fell away. And you can see B Men's behind us, but he's quite a long way behind us still. He's on the mediums, but. Um, this was a really good position for me right now and sort of I was poised to almost win the race because these guys are all going to have to pit as Black Widow gets Kvyat back. So Kvyat actually was in the lead so um, that was a good start but Black Widow I think qualified it on pole and um, Kvyat got him back but then Black Widow actually broke his wing on Kvyat and that's going to slow him down considerably as we're going to see if we can capitalise from that and just make a move before the straight because of course we don't really want to be stuck behind him when he doesn't have a wing but he defends valiantly and we're going to have to sort of tuck in behind as Eliotta, I don't know if you look for a move, but the um, the arrows went red momentarily. But you can see now Black Widow all over the place without the front wing. And we're just going to drive past him. Um, put it into Rich, hot lap, not taking any chances. But I don't think that Black Widow is going to fight us, considering he's going to have to dive off into the pits. But um, yeah, I mean, I'm not really worried about these two stop runners, even so they showed a lot more pace than me in qualifying. Because I just believe this one stops so much faster. But I do know there's some fast guys behind me still. Um, so it's important I get past these guys as quickly as possible as Kvyat's going to go defensive But we're going to just be able to drive around his outside on these tyres Even though they're the harder compound the soft's just falling away already on lap 5 So it just sort of shows that the two stop not the way to go and we've gone from 12 to 1st um, In the first 5 laps 
And um, you can see everyone else now in the pit. So it's only the medium runners um, at the front. So my suspicions were correct. Um, and uh, that's the other thing about Shady Onyx. Unfortunately, he disconnected um, before the race. And otherwise, I probably would have been put on, under a lot more pressure by him, considering he is much faster than me. But yeah, this sort of reminded me of um, Season 15, I remember, when I had... Um, I think I had... Uh, I can't remember who my teammate was exactly, but um, I think he went from 12th to 1st on a similar strategy to this, and that was on F1 um, 2017, sorry. Um, so we're going to peel into the pets on lap 12. We were being put under pressure from our teammate Deadeye, but unfortunately he made a mistake and dropped back, and so I think it was just me and X Nuke up at the front. Um, but you, I think he pitted for the undercut as well. So we're going to come out now. Um, it, we're probably going to come out just behind Black Widow, um, who is on the two-stop strategy. Um, but we're going to hopefully take these tyres to the end. Um, even so, if we build up enough of a gap at the lead, I was hoping to do the two-stop just for the fastest lap. But we'll see how it is for now. But we look in a comfortable position as we're about to get Black Widow already. And um, yeah, just like that, we are back into the lead of the race. And we have no more stops to make. Black Widow still has a stop in his two-stop strategy. And um, my nearest rival right now is Icy, who also seems to be on the one stop. So I think he's managed to jump X-Nuke. Um, and I think Kvyat's also there as well. So those guys all on the um, on the one stop, it seems. Um, and um, yeah, just really um, trying to keep the gap to them. As Black Widow, unfortunately, not able to get us back there. So we're going to be um, home and dry, it seems. And um, from here on out, I, I just knew it was going to be quite a quiet race as long as I kept it clean. Um, I was hoping to build enough of a gap. As you can see, Black Widow coming into the pits. But I knew he had so much pace on this two-stop that I wouldn't be able to cover him off. And um, the gap behind me wasn't that large. It was about 12 or 13 seconds. So definitely comfortable. But um, I knew it wasn't comfortable enough to go in for another pit stop and set faster slap. So I was sort of leaving that to the guys behind me. Um... But yeah, I, even so, I was really hoping to set a quick lap um, just to see if I could set a lap on these um, old old hards. But you can see, um, going in hot lap and rich, and we're actually up on our best lap. But I think by this time, the fastest lap was already about seven tenths up. So I, I knew there was a small chance I could get it, but um, with people pitting in the last few laps as well um, towards the back of the field, I knew it was probably unlikely um, that I'll get the extra points. But you can see, we've got quite a, a nice gap behind us even um so i don't know if you saw when we entered the pits we actually got a five second time penalty um because we sped um of course just me being rusty really um and of course yeah the the fact that i've not really played much since i sort of left league racing is sort of showing but this has been quite a solid drive for the first race back um sort of unexpected really i didn't really feel i'll be this far in front but i think the strategies really helped me and um even so i feel Assist League 3 is probably closer to my ability than Assist League 1 was. I think I was sort of helped by the fact that my teammate and a few others sort of had issues on, and otherwise their one-stop strategies would have been much more competitive. But again, you can see two um, green sectors, and we got on board the whole of this lap because this was actually my fastest lap of the race. Unfortunately, it wasn't quite purple. As you can see now, um, I think we only go about three cents up on our best um, but still, that was quite good considering it was old mediums. And that would be it. X-Nuke would actually get Icy for second place in the end. And Black Widow um, actually would overtake Icy as well um, for P3. So, uh, a bit of last lap drama there. Um, Black Widow actually doing really well on the two-stop. Um, and as we look at the standings, of course, we're only sixth place because we've only really joined um, now. And we actually are still a reserve, so I'm going to have to check out to see if we can actually keep those points. But X-Nuke will lead the um, driver standings from Ropuk who I don't think scored points today, um, or even turned up for that matter. Dead Eye again didn't score points, um, and um, he was in third place. And Black Widow and Bubba um, closing him down, and I was slotting into sixth place. Unfortunately, Sadionix, um, he got fourth last time out, I believe, but um, he's only on the 12 points because he didn't actually start the race. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's look I'm looking much more competitive, which, is of course, is good considering this is... Probably going to be my final season. I, I sort of said it last season as well, but I can't see myself continuing um, into exam season. So, um, yeah, it's a good way to start it off. Of course, I am on the back foot because I have to sort of um, gain on the points. But, yeah, you can see the race standings um, there. And, yeah, see you next time.